to S&T Snake College, College of Healthy Culture. My name is Engineer Chiocracy. This is my client, Mr. Lawrence Onachuku. Presently, we are in Imo State. Uh, this is a farm. I want you to understand something about extensive farming system. Your land, be it one plot, be it acres, when you do extensive farming system, your land is still secure. We don't build structures. We don't have to be using pens everywhere. Because tomorrow, something happened that you change your mind of not doing snail farm. And you build structures everywhere. Even if you pick the snail and sell off, what happens to the structure? You have to destroy those structures. When you look at those structures, they cannot be used for anything again. They can be used for house, nothing. You have to destroy. Who don't stress you? Point of correction. Extensive farming system is the cheapest. Intensive farming system, you have to be roofing the whole house, you have to be building pens, the blocks involved, the labor involved in constructing pen is high. Other than that, intensive farming system is not recommended by SRT State College. Why? Like I used to say, it's not ideal. In Nigeria weather, in Nigeria environment, it is not. If you watch YouTube, you watch internet, and you are seeing uh, the whites doing a snail farm, point of correction, the Americans, the Italians, the Germans, they are into Helis Aspasa. Helis Aspasa is a species that is over there. Here in Nigeria, we see the Africa giant, which is the Ashatina marginata. You see the Ashatina Ashatina and some other species. Those ones are not in abroad. So when they are using their system, their method of Helis Aspasa, and you copy Helis Aspasa method, you bring it to Nigeria, you're going to fail. Here is my client. I want him to interview me on what and what he needs to be cleared of. So you're welcome. Okay, thank you very much. I thank you for coming today. Speak class so that you can hear. I thank you for coming today. You know, I've been uh, like uh, snail farming and uh, I actually want to go into snail rearing for business purposes because I know one or two persons who do it and are making a lot of coffee for me. And so, how do you differentiate a, a female snail from a male snail? That's a question. How do you differentiate a female snail from a male snail? In the field of snail farming, in the, the, the uh, 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 Satinidia uh, family of snail, uh, there is no male snail, there is no female snail. Both are hermaphrodites. Hermaphrodite is each snail contains a female organ and it contains a male organ. So this one contains a female organ and it contains a male organ. So both can mate. And this one goes its way to produce egg, while this one goes its way to produce egg. Which exactly is man? None. Which exactly is woman? None. They are uh, hermaphrodites. It's can a, a snail cross mate, maybe a chachatina marginata uh, mate with a chachatina, a chachatina. Yes, a chachatina marginata can mate with a chachatina, a chachatina. But originally, the environment where a chachatina, a chachatina is, you hardly find a chachatina marginata. So when it is mating period, they expel out some chemicals within them. If a snail is here and there's another snail who is ready to mate is in another place, what we need to do is to expel out a chemical. That chemical will call the other one because that's their um, tentacle is a kind of a map to locate direction. So they will, they will perceive that chemical extracted out by the other one who is ready to mate. That one will come closer, then they will date. Their dating is close to 48 hours. They will be there just dating before they will meet. And mating will take like uh, uh, six hours. Yeah, after, after mating, both of them go their own way and go and produce. And the sperm that each one releases in the other one, and this one releases sperm, that sperm can be in that snail for three years. Okay. okay. What is the maturity period for the snail? The maturity period of a snail it depends on your maturity sales point. When I say maturity sales point, is that I would love to sell at uh, when they are big, Africa giant, I want my snail big to meet up a big size. The next client may want to sell at uh, middle size, 
they are all matured but you just decide to allow it to wait to maturity so the maturity age of snail determined by when you want to sell but as at when it is one year six months is matured enough to go to the market but you might decide to leave it for more eggs and maturity so that they can uh, get big for market size and profitability purpose okay good, uh, good point what do I need to feed my snail with? How do I need to feed them to make them mature rapidly? Or yes, grow up rapidly? rapid growth. Now, in the in the intensive farming system, sorry, extensive farming system, uh, what we plant here, the things we are planting on this farm, naturally is their feed, because in the bush where they are, naturally they feed on vegetation. They are vegetarians. As far as they are vegetarians, uh, now you bring them to your farm. You have to plant the things they eat in the forest, which is being listed in our college. I've taught you that, right? Yes. Now, S&T snail feed, it serves as a booster to boost them for more calcium, for more nutrients, protein, just to boost them, coupled with what you have on ground, it moves. Then if, in extensive farming system, even if you are not around, you travel one more, two months, you are leaving your farm because what they will eat is here. But intensive farming system, you must be on ground. Because you decide to cage them in an installation center, then you are giving yourself a job to must always attend to them. But in extensive, you are free to travel, just lock up your farm, you go anywhere you want to go. Most uh, species of snail is advisable for, for rearing. The species of snail advisable for rearing, only recommended by our colleague, is Ashashatina marginata. Ashatina Ashatina is available, but let me tell you the difference between Ashatina Ashatina and Ashashatina marginata. Like I taught you in the class, the, the, the Ashatina Ashatina is mainly on the west in Nigeria, it's mainly on the west, migrated from Cameroon. While Ashashatina marginata is from the uh, east, sorry, Ashatina Ashatina from uh, east, while uh, Ashashatina marginata from the west. Now, it's like African giant. Africa like giant, giant, yes. They both call Africa giant, but when you talk about size of the biggest, recognized mainly for Africa giant, is Ashatina marginata. Now, why is Ashatina Ashatina not too recommended by us who want to grow big because you are investing and you want to make money? Now, it's like somebody who is training native fowl and somebody who is training a Greek fowl. Okay, a There's a big difference. Remember, the years that you will wait, same year but they are both different species. This one grow bigger. And in the market, they sell size. So you are selling size. And the only biggest size you can ever think of is a Tatatina marginata. 